Hello, a warm welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us today to the Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it is a day of renewal, the first game of the Premier League season. Always something to look forward to. It's Leicester City up against Aston Villa. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Wilfred and Didi start with Harry Winks in the engine room and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. And the game begins. Winks. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Bailey. A chance to whip it in. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. <laughs> and over it comes. Half-hearted clearance. He's protecting it well. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. to the other they weren't ahead for long and this match is level again back underway level pegging one goal apiece in this game oh no no McGinn on the ball Zaniolo well read to ease the pressure Watkins. Well, he's given us away. Ndidi. Leicester being afforded too much space here. Well, foul play, says the referee. Played in there. Could still be dangerous. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Nicolo Zaniolo. Could be dangerous. And now waiting to pounce. 
And a stinging shot, but off target. Well, as you said, off target when really that should be hitting the back of the net. That's a golden opportunity. Nicolo Zaniolo. He's in here. Well, a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Leon Bailey. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Oh, great vision. And Leicester regaining possession. Oh, great vision. And a simple clearance, a good one. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And still trying to get the shot off. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Foiling his opponent completely. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Ndidi. There to intercept. Well, Aston Villa have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And the ball in behind the defenders. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. And options in the centre. He cuts it back. Can he give them the advantage? Great defending. Now, will the cross work out for them? Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And he's clear his lines. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Defenders need to cover. It could be up for grabs. Oh, that is a super save! Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. Nicolo Zaniolo. Madsen. On the ball, Zaniolo. Bailey. Another well, classic example of how to intercept. Cody. Daka. And quick thinking defensively. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Now, can they take advantage? Can't miss, surely! Oh, fine attempt, but denied by the bar. Well, he thought that was in, and I have to say, so did I. It was a really good effort. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming.
Well, no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the King Power Stadium. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. And the game begins. Bailey. A chance to whip it in. Piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous. Oh, in with a chance. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. He's protecting it well. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Really bright-looking attack. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Well, very effective play in possession. Now in a more than decent position. He takes aim. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Leon Bailey. On the ball, Zaniolo. It looks promising. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier oh, League. What a great opportunity. Esri Konsa. McGinn. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Dennis Pryat. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? And that is goalkeeping of the very highest order. Nicolo Zaniolo. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Zaniolo. Big chance. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Everton. And in with a real chance. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Dakar. Leicester moving the ball with purpose. 
but timely defending when it mattered and passing it well oh how about that for a tackle A real opening now. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Opportunity here, what a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. So the current scoreline, 4-2. McGinn. Onana. Well, he's given it away. Can the owner of the red convertible registration SMU... Plenty of support here. Great block. Thank you. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Intense pressure. Good distribution. Oh, nice ball over the top and sloppy in possession from Villa Winks can he make it count oh that's textbook goalkeeping and time for the change now short corner favoured And the referee allowing the game to flow. You could reduce the deficit. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Out of play. Leicester throw in coming up. Chance to cross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And we've entered the final five minutes. Rogers. Zaniolo top class defending now got to tread carefully sound piece of goalkeeping Watkins beautifully weighted ball oh cleared away superb defending massive credit I'm well, taking into account all the stoppages three minutes to be added on and crossed in there decent cross but nobody in the vicinity and the throw in for Leicester City well they've decided to make a change They're showing a real will to win the ball Zaniolo promising pass oh body in the way crucially hey. 
Can someone get on the end of this? And there goes the whistle for full time. The Villa fans will leave the stadium happy on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.